Hi, I'm Jeremy Whitman of Android Gnosis. Today we're going to be installing Paranoid Android 3.1 for the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. So let's begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is power off the device. So long press the power button until this window pops up. Press power off. Press OK and now your device will power down. We're going to do this so we can boot into the bootloader. So to do that, we're going to press uh, both the upper and lower parts of the volume rocker and the power button at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. Now before we begin, you should already have your device rooted, unlocked, and have Twerp Custom Recovery installed on there. If you have that, then you're ready to go. So go ahead and press the volume rocker down until it highlights uh, recovery mode, and then press power button to select it. And that will bring us into a twerp custom recovery. <clears throat> All right. Now once you're in here, you're going to want to make a backup. So press backup there. And this will back up your current ROM apps and settings. So this is very important just in case something goes wrong. You always want to have an Android backup, which is what it's called. And um, just press swipe to swipe to backup. But I already have that done, so I'm just going to press the back button. And you can too once you're done. And we're going to wipe. And we're going to do a factor reset. And a swipe to do a factor reset. This is going to erase all your apps, user information, ROM, um, wipe the catch for good measure. Swipe to wipe. And once that's done, we're going to also um, wipe the Dalvik catch also for good measure. And that'll only take a couple seconds, so just swipe to wipe once again. And once that's done, press back button, go back, and press install. And now you're going to have try to find the folder where you download the ROM and make sure you got the Paranoid Android G apps. Um, mine are in two different locations. I used uh, Goo Manager for one and the browser for the other one. So the one I used for the browser are in downloads and the other one um, is in Goo Manager. But you're also going to want to um, flash any other customizations that you got at this time. I have the Nexus louder, so I'm going to also flash that this time. And once you got them all ready to go, just swipe to flash. And it's going to take a while, but thankfully I skipped over it. Okay, it's almost finishing up here, as you can see. It's flashing the G apps right now, and then I'll flash my custom sound file. And when it's all done, we're gonna um, we're gonna reboot, and we should have Paranoid Android on our phone. So just press reboot system, and now it's booting back up. Now the first boot's gonna take quite a while, so just be patient. Um, Here's a Paranoid Android's logo, which is a jelly bean that looks like it's flying and angry. But it's uh, flashing different colors like blue, green, red, uh, yellow, purple, whatnot, just to kind of show off their custom color settings for their app. So it's Paranoid Android 3.1. Yep. And now we're into the welcome screen. You're going to want to set up your Wi Fi now. Put in your code. And once that's done, it's going to start connecting to the Wi Fi and they'll allow you to um, get to the Google sign in screen and it'll ask you if you have a Gmail. So if you already have a Gmail set up, then you're good on that front. So I'm just going to select yes. I have a Google account. Put in my information, but not on camera. So we're going to skip over. And now I'm signing in. 
and we're going to boot into the screen here in a minute. Restore for my Google account, keep my phone backed up? Of course. Why not? So it's restoring my contacts, my my app information, my system information, anything I might have. Um, it's asking if it could use my Wi-Fi, my GPS for locations. Yeah, go ahead and select that. Why not make it easier for you? All right. So now we're booting into the first time. Right, I'm going to get the setup and we'll be back. All right, here we go. All set up now. We're going to go into settings. We're going to find a customize customization. There we go. There's our hybrid settings. So we're going to go into that. It's going to give you several different options. I just chose the regular one that came when the phone booted up. And that seems to give me a pretty good mix between tablet and phone apps. But um, one thing I did do was PA colors. And what this does, it's kind of like a, a pre-designed app colorization for you. So what it's doing now, Launcher, Google Play, Messaging, Calendar, Tab, Talk, Google Search, Google Plus, YouTube, and Currents. So it's going to customize all those apps with custom colors of their choosing. Um, I've been using it for a while so far I like it you could choose tablet UI um, which will give you something like the Nexus 7 there's tablet UI where you can change it from one DPS to another and also um, there's ones where you could keep the app DPI to what's currently in your phone now so it won't change much in the app realm but it will change like the launcher it also has a theme chooser which is very cool. Um, there's a toolbars. Let's go into that. And you could choose to have like a notification count up in your status bar. Split menu button. I don't know what that is. Uh, you could choose your pie style size. You could also um, go into customize tiles. Tiles and layout. And you could add more to your quick settings. I have a flashlight, but there's other ones for like shutting it down right away, um, um, Wi-Fi tether, all that stuff. So, And now I'm going to show you the expandable desktop, the Pi settings. And the Pi settings are unique to this ROM. Okay, so as you can see here, you got a lot more room, visual room for, on your screen because you don't have the persistent buttons there, but you could bring up the pie and that brings up the buttons right there. And you got search that brings up Google now. Home, that'll just take you back to the home screen. Um, tasks and a clear all tasks. And that clears all the tasks up for the most recent one that you opened up. Gonna go back home. Okay, and this will bring up the notifications. And you go on the other side, that brings up the quick settings. So pretty cool. I'm definitely loving this ROM. I'm going to show you what it looks like, the per color app, the pre-chosen one anyway, how it looks. So let's go back into regular mode. See their YouTube is red and black, both on top and bottom. Google Now has kind of like this white and blue theme going on, both on top and bottom. And let's check it on Google Plus. And it kind of has like a white and gray theme. As you see, the apps act normal and stuff. It's very cool. Maybe we should check out one more um, text messaging or Google Currents. Google Currents. Uh, of course, I'm not set up. Okay, I'm going to sign in my account. Shall I take a few seconds? And this one it has like a white and red theme, both on top and bottom. So now let's check out the text messaging. On the bottom, 
it doesn't change too much. It's pretty much like the stock, but on the top you have a gray and green bar. So that's been it, our quick overview of Paranoid Android. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Have a good one.